Hi there. Today is Wednesday, November 21st, day before Thanksgiving. Um, I'm making it. I'll be making a tutorial of how to use Arc Map or Arc View shape file and import them into your Garmin GPS. Um, here's the situation: is that um, I am GPSing all the culverts that runs underneath the freeway and what I did was <clears throat> I created a shape file of the areas that I need to go to to GPS um, those culverts so this is a little tutorial video of how I'll, I'll be doing that I have a, uh, a Garmin uh, 76CSX um, GPS which I have it hooked up to my computer right now by means of a U USB cable and it's turned on right now and so what I'll do first is um, I'll open up my ArcView map uh, showing you the um, showing, showing you the uh, Culvert locations. Okay. Oh, and by the way, what I did over here, I created a uh, folder called GPS Locate. So those are the GPS points that I'll be locating or with my Garmin. Okay. So. <clears throat> um, Let's see what we're doing here. Okay, so um, I have um, some of the culverts GPS. Those are in. Uh, let me turn this one here. Oh, okay, the ones in the yellow, as you can see, is all those are all GPS with my Trimble, which is a professional grade GPS unit. And the green dots, those are actually like either tunnels and um, made out of concrete. The yellow ones are those uh, culvert galvanized um, tubes that they run use as, uh, as culverts. So <clears throat> I have not yet gone on the other side. See this is the two freeways right here. Let me zoom in here. Um, uh, let's see. There. I've gone through this side and GPS them but I have not gone on the other side. Now, on the other side, which is um, the frontage road or access road, is sometimes away, so I have to basically walk and try to find them. Well, if, if I'd be walking over here and I have no idea because you can't see where this culvert is, and some location you can see something right here, but it'd be easier if I just uh, generate points, waypoints, and then load them up into the um, GPS unit. So then that I just follow, it's like geocaching for uh, culverts. So what I did was I created a layer using the art catalog right here and created a layer and I just manually put in these red dots there. See that? These red dots. Okay, because the yellow ones, those are I've done. But somewhere across, um, that's where I need to find the the other end of the culverts. So I created these little dots, these red dots. You know, I created a layer for it, right there. Anyway, once you finish doing all that, then what I did was I right click on that, and I select all those. Okay, see they're all selected and um, actually I'll take it back um, let's see I right click it I hit data then I export the data okay I want to export that layer called GPS locate those red dots I made those are the ones I want to find okay and then you make sure that when you go to the output folder 
that you find that folder that you created in this case I call it the GPS locate folder and um, that's where I want that layer the, the shape file to be in but I've done it already so when when you do it you don't have that yet so but since I already done that uh, you want to make sure you give it an appropriate appropriate name in this case I gave it a G GPS locate right there see and then I saved it okay and then that what that what th that does is <clears throat> it puts that shape file into the GPS locate folder that I this one right here that guy see these are the shape files that you'll need okay and that's 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 the information that I'm going to be transferring into my Garmin uh, unit okay well, so once you have that done then you get you know, you this goes you, you'll be done with that and, uh, and you hit OK and then what it does is that it populates that folder okay so that way you're done with this with arc arc map okay okay now that you're done with that and you have populate uh, populated your GPS locate folder with this information then you gonna open up your DNR Garmin software which is free and and I that's another tutorial that I'll be showing how to download that software so I click on that to get that activated I'll close these windows okay now since my uh, Garmin is turned on this will automatically find it and then here it is GPS map 76 CSX software version 4 so it, it recognized it now if you have a different Garmin it will automatically locate it and it will, it will show you the name confirming that it did read it okay so now what you want to do is you're gonna go file and then <coughs> then you say load from file okay so what you want to do is you want to find where that folder was okay so that was in my document uh, folder okay in the GPS projects okay Enoch flood okay and here's your GPS locate remember that so double click on that oh and then here says text file. I need this shape file right here. Shape file. These are all different formats: KML, Google Earth, GPX. But since we're using ArcView, we're going to use that format. So click on that. Here it is. GPS locate. Okay. So click on that and open. <coughs> so what it does now is it's going to. Oh, and then here's your um sequential ID or I'm gonna use object ID. I think I'm just gonna use a uh, sequential ID. Okay, oops. There we go. And then today's date, well I kinda want to use let's see what options there are. No, I don't want to use today's date. I'm gonna use that object ID. It just when you when you, when you're in your arc map, remember that your attribute table. These are your some of them that you're gonna use. Okay, so you hit OK. And here it is. File was loaded successfully from the GPS locate folder. Hit OK. So here you can see that. Uh, um, it pop DNR has populated the table okay so it calls waypoints you know these are the features and um, I have lat latitude and longitude uh, X and Y and then the comment the comment was today's date which is okay I guess and then your ID Okay, so 
what we're going to do now is that uh, it hasn't been uploaded into your Garmin yet. This is just up, uh, populated into your DNR software. So now I'm going to go to GPS and make sure that uh, uh, set port is a USB since I'm using my USB uh, cable. And then I go to waypoints. So th since these are only, they're not uh, linear lines, they're just points. So I'm going to go to waypoints, not track, just waypoint. And I say upload. So it's going to upload into my Garmin. And then here, beep. And that transfer is completed. 24 waypoints. Okay. So now, if you check, if you check your Garmin, and it should be on by now, uh, you'll get an acknowledgement that it has been successfully uploaded. And check, click on Find, and then select Waypoints, and hit Enter so you can see your waypoints. And you should see all those, in this case, my culverts, those red dots that I wanted to locate. And then that's, uh, and it looks like it successfully uploaded that. So, and that's it. That's how you upload your uh, shape file or your features from ArcMap into uh, your Garmin. So, anyway, uh, thank you for watching and and uh, check out my other tutorials which I'll be in the process of making uh, such as downloading your DNR software and uh, also checking for any updates uh, and firm firmware updates and any other tutorials too. So anyway, thanks for watching. Have fun out there. Be safe.